Mexican prison food versus American prison food? Is this right? Are we doing this video now? If you're going to prison, don't expect to eat this. Or that. Or this. Look more forward to this. This. And lots of this. Let's get into this video. Hey, what's up guys? My name is JC. I am Wrong and Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my crew, mi familia, mi raza, you already know. Suanza la Suburban, let's take a ride. What's up guys? Today, we're gonna talk about Mexican prison food versus American prison food. And this could go in many, many different ways because we could talk about what you can eat in Mexican prison versus what you can eat in an American prison. No, we're talking about what they feed the inmates, what they give you if you had to survive on that food. You had nobody, no one, no money, no nothing. This is what you're gonna eat for the rest of your life. So for breakfast in the Mexican prison, a big cup of coffee with two sweet breads. For breakfast in American prison, it's pretty typical and pretty much almost the same whether it's federal or, or state. Oatmeal, if not cereal, eggs, and bread. And always potatoes, because they give potatoes with every single meal. In the Mexican prison, it was about 10 to 15 tortillas, one cup of rice, one cup of beans, and whatever mystery soup, meat, guiso, whatever you want to call it, very, very rarely did I eat it because it didn't, just didn't look right, didn't smell right. So yeah, I stayed away from that one. For lunch in the United States, prisons, man, like I said, state and federal is almost the same. Usually if they're not having hot dog and fries. They're having hamburgers. If not, it's a chicken day. Grilled cheese. Yeah, you see? I don't know. For dinner in the Mexican prison was one cup of oatmeal, really watered down ass oatmeal. It wasn't even a real oatmeal. It was just so watered down. It was just pretty much the flavor of the oatmeal. Two more breads. Yeah, they gave you a shitload of bread. If not bolillo, sweet breads. Whatever they had, because they baked all their own breads there at the prison. For dinner in the US prison, like I said, spaghetti is a norm. This one's a norm. This one's pretty much norm. You know, there's there's milk. There's, there's a lot of things in the US prison that are not available to you in the Mexican prison. A lot, of, a lot of the inmates in the Mexican prison were very, very thin. I believe it's because of the lack of nutrients, food, just, just everything, you know what I mean? When you're just kind of like eating little stuff here and there, 
you lose a lot, a lot of size. And I, I think it, it was like one of the biggest things that I used to always see when I would uh, be in the United States for a while, right? And then I would come back into Mexico. When I was a kid, when I was a kid, I would come back into Mexico, into my town. The kids from Mexico would see me and they would be like, man, you're fucking like, you're huge. Are you lifting weights over there in the US or what? And I have to believe that it has to do with the food <clears throat> and how we eat as Americans and how we eat, you know, uh, uh, and portions, different portions. But over there, the portions were very, very limited. The food was, like I said, not the greatest, but it is survivable. You, you would be able to eat it if you had to survive and you can make it a little bit better. Add a little bit of salt, maybe a little bit of lemon, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, this is just what the inmates eat. Now, if we go more into detail into like the restaurants, the stores, everything they had going on in there, then that's a whole new can of worms. Just like if we talk about all the other stuff that you can eat at the US prisons that inmates make. The ice creams, the fried burritos, the fried donuts, the, the apple cutter, all, the, all that stuff. Also, I believe in my eyes there's really no comparison. I got a lot of shit because I said that, you know, American prisons were five-star hotels. I only said that, and I didn't mean no disrespect to nobody. I only said that in terms of not having money, not having family, not having nothing because you're given clothes, your bed, your food, uh, medical, you're, you're given everything that you need to pretty much stay healthy and alive. It's up to you after that to remain active inside prison and move around and not sit around and watch TV and, and get fat and get sick. So that's what I meant by that, that there, there's just more to more given to you for free than there is in the Mexican prisons. This is why I said it was a five star hotel, not to offend no one. In Mexico, everything costs from water to taking a shower to having a cell to you name it. Everything had to cost. You had to give up some kind of money every week to keep your unit clean, to keep your cell, everything. So if you do go to jail, just go to jail in the United States. <laughs> nah, it's just like, stay your ass out of jail. Stay out here. Stop fucking around. Stop selling drugs. Stop doing all that stupid shit, man, because I'm telling you, life is too short. I was 16 years old just yesterday, and look at me now, I'm 45. In a blink of an eye. Life is too short, man. My name's JC. I am Wrong Strong. Hey, don't judge nobody, stay in your lane, live savage, and remember, you only have one life to live, man. Enjoy it out here where you can eat whatever you want. Remember, food is supposed to make you happy. The taste buds, everything. Now, I'm not saying go out there and like, get addicted to food, I'm just saying. Stay out here, don't go to prison, don't use drugs, love your family. Just be wrong and strong, man. I'll catch you guys on a rebound.